All right. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode in my Reese 2 Grandmaster series. Looks like we're going to be going in third position here in 956 ideal position. Let's see. I'm also liking this up uh, 5 4 10 and then building up towards 10 8. Let's see here. After that, Hmm, just trying to look at the ports as well. 1085 is good for production, so if I were to take that, I'd like a sheep port, but sheep port's all the way up here. Hmm, if someone does take this 956, which someone should, it probably will. If I do take this uh, 1085, I could take this 510. Well, someone will likely take this. Uh, 10.5.8, or sorry, 10.5.4. Hmm. I'm also seeing a 9.6.3. 9.6.3 building towards uh, the wood port utilizing the 9.6. That's not a bad place to build as well. Hmm. Okay, they're still in that spot. Okay. Hmm. They'll probably build towards the wood port, I would imagine. So if we take this, where would be a second placement be? Oh, okay, they're going up. Interesting, interesting play. Okay, so they're leaving this uh, 510 open for us to potentially take. Um, hmm. If we take the 396, go towards wood port, we would still need brick, wheat, and sheep. Which would be right here. Brick, wheat, and sheep. I don't believe that would be high on people's list to take. But then we'd be leaving this uh, 1085 wide open for fourth position to take. Hmm. Do we do that just to get every resource? Or would you take production over that? Yikes. Uh, but then again, this is going to be a low wood board, so to have Monopoly on wood would be pretty, pretty nice. You know what? Mm. Let's take, let's take this in, in hopes of getting this 510 up here. That's what I'm rooting for. Or even taking this uh, 439 and then still having access to the wood port, in addition getting the 8-3. So I have, I have two options. Two options to still get really good placements. I mean, I, I feel like getting very good production uh, is important, at least for the first settlement, and then uh, getting a good pairing with the second. I mean, obviously, that's, that's basic ton, I would say. So this is going to be game number uh, 47. Not sure if I mentioned that at the beginning of the episode, but yeah, trying to get to Grandmaster before or on game number 74. I, I still think it's going to be possible. We just had to start uh, taking first instead of just taking second and third in a bunch of recent matches. So got to start playing better, making better decisions, um, advancing a lot quicker. Okay, so they decided to opt into the wood port so really glad I didn't end up trying for the 396 I could see them going for the 396 uh, I really don't see any other reason they would do that if they weren't gonna get the best wood spot on the board but people have done crazy things this could be another instance where uh, they leave and just okay well that makes sense as well. They could go for the 3-6 or the 9-6 deuce. Okay, so we have wood and sheep. We still need oh, wheat, ore, and brick. Not super worried about brick because the two remaining brick spots are not ideal. However, do we just take this and then go for or attempt to get the 5 10? Hmm. 
I feel like maybe we should just take the 510 and then attempt to go for the 5411, even though, no, we'll, we'll head towards the sheep. I think that's the best spot for us. Hmm. Just taking one last look. Yeah. Then we could play for cities and devs, taking sheep, try setting up more. Okay, yeah. Let's do that. Build up. And the reason I didn't take the 5411 is because then we just have two spots on wheat with no ore to use it with. So that's why I decided to just go for the 510. So first priority will be to city up first. City up and then see if we get that road going. City and devs to start, I would say. In hopes of maybe getting a road builder. And then we get road there, road there. And all we would need to do is trade for, for brick. Just getting text messages all over the place here. Okay, someone taking the 11.10.3. Not very good production at, what, four, seven, seven pips. Ooh, building down to try to get the 3.48, perhaps. 3.48 and then going for the 3.41 is what Brown is likely doing. So, scariest spot for me so far as it's 956 so we're gonna have to watch red to see what they do they still need wood and brick uh i could see i'm taking this uh 96 deuce i mean that would make sense just to block off a uh, yellow for a little bit they really don't need to take this 1134 or the 6113 Hmm, red, yeah. Yeah, I don't see the benefit in you taking this uh, 5 4 11 with your second placement. Yeah, this makes the most sense. Then you get a road and could put one there, and then you'll probably take it and be in an even better position. So let me know in the comment section below, based off of the placements alone, who do you think is going to win? Uh, for me, uh, things are looking very scary for red. So let's see what their second placement they need. They should take this night six deuce. That's why I think they should take. And then after they get the four, five, 11, they should build towards the three, four, one. Okay. Hmm. Going down. Trying to get more sheep, perhaps. Trying to get more sheep and on a three, four, one. Oh, okay. So this, this is interesting. So we're seeing that they're having uh connectivity issues here. So the person with the best spots might end up disconnecting, which would be unfortunate. Um, but if it does land us with the victory, it wouldn't be super bad for me. And I, I mean, ideally I would like them to play because now we're going to have to wait. Um, well, they don't do their turn for three orbits and then they'll disconnect and turn to a bot. But again, I don't enjoy these games. But like I said, we do have a goal of trying to get to Grandmaster for a certain amount of games. Or, well, matches are played, so a win is a win, I suppose. Not saying it's definitely going to happen. Because, let's see, looking at yellow, their placement is not that terrifying. They do not have sheep. I mean, they'll really start taking off maybe more once they get this 3-6. And looking at brown, their placements aren't ideal. Oh, wow, they turned to a bot before the orbits. Okay, so this will make the game uh, speed up a little bit from this point forward. I know we're nine minutes in, and that was just the first roll. Seven is ruled by brown. Okay, okay. Let's see, brown, if I were you, I would attack. Hmm, who's trying to beat you somewhere? I'm not a huge threat to you going that way. You could see me as a threat to you taking this uh, three for one up here, but I want the sheep port. Hmm, they're taking a long time to figure this out. Hitting that five, stealing an ore from us. Okay, Brown, you become an enemy of mine. Uh, who's more? Terrifying brown or yellow. I would say brown is more terrifying than yellow currently just due to placements Okay, nine is rolled. We get nothing for nine gonna be a slow start for us with just one resource in 
them taking our uh, second resource that we got from the second placement. 11. We get nothing for 11. Brown is getting brick. Keep that in mind. Okay. So it's not going to be like uh, the last couple episodes where it's going to be a quick game. Looks like these people are kind of taking their time with their turns, which is which is all right. But I just got accustomed to fast playing for the last couple matches here. Okay, the bot's going to go pretty quick though. Seven. Okay, come on, red. Do me a solid and attack brown. Okay, nice. They are still going after this four, five, eleven. Hmm. Yeah, the bots. I feel like I've been getting a little bit better. Okay, six is rolled. We get nothing for six. Okay, knowing red is a bot doesn't really give us an advantage of our uh, spots at the moment, especially with such low cards. We get, wow, deuce. Nothing for deuce. Red just took a brick. We're relying a lot on eight, five, and tens. Okay, ten. Getting a wood for ten. Wooden ore. Hmm. Or for wood, that does not help me out at all. Especially with no brick. Yeah, I think we're going to have to definitely prioritize the city so we can get more resources for devs. 10, another ore and wood. It's going to hoard those resources for a little bit. 6, nothing for 6. Hmm. Sheep for wood, no. I don't know if a six number has been rolled yet. I guess I could try trading with the bot at some point. Let's see. Well, we get an eight. We get a sheep for eight. I have enough for a dev. Let's see. Let's try this. Okay. Pretty sure red has has a brick. Let's see. What do they want? You want a wheat? Hmm. I can't do that for you, man. How about how about that? Okay, they'll accept it. Okay, let's do that. And then let's build up there. And you know what? Let's just let's just buy a dev here. Okay, night. Yeah, night for dev. Six. Nothing for six. I question my choice there. Like, should I have just weeded on the dev? Eh. Wood for wood for wheat? No. Okay, they're trading with each other. Okay, two wood for a brick just to build out that way. So after I get this, uh, my next course of action will probably be to just uh, do the triangle thing. So just another road here, settlement, road, settlement. Just to maximize my numbers on uh, the sheep spots, and then I'll probably city this spot up. Or I guess it makes sense to city up the 510 first. And then buy dev cards. That's my path to victory, I think. Nine, we get nothing for nine. Okay, we know wooden ore just went out. We're not going to help Brown at all. Okay, so it's not on us, so let's just roll here. We get a five. Okay, we're going to get a sheep and wheat for five. We just need a brick. Who has a brick? Let's see. Anyone? I don't remember anyone having a brick recently. Let's see. Yeah, they already used their brick. Trades that for brick, and then... Oh yeah, I used it. That's me. Okay. Well, in which case, let's just uh, let's just wait until we see somebody that actually has a brick. Then we'll try taking it from them with the knight if they don't want to trade. As we take a little bit of time for yellow to go, and at this point, if you guys haven't already, be sure to hit that like button. I like throwing that in there. Uh, as much as I can. I mean, I try to limit it to one time per episode so I don't spam you guys with it. Nine, okay. Um, 
Red is getting ore and wood. What did yellow get? Yellow just got wood. Two wood for wool and they purchased a dev card. A 10. Is Robo going to get ore and wood for 10? Let's see here. Leaf for wood. Nope, that does not help me out. Leaf for sheep doesn't help me out either. I need a, I need a brick. Wood for sheep? Mm, nope. Okay, 10 is rolled again. We get wood and ore once again. Hmm, do we, do we use the resources to buy a dev next turn? Do we wait? Ugh. If we get another 5 roll, then we can try trading with red for an ore. Get our city out there. Wood. No. Minus two wood. Give me ah. <laughs> Dang, I wasn't quick enough. Two no no. Are you insane? How about that? Give me a two for two. I know we said we weren't gonna help Brown, but if they could help us out majorly, then we would. Okay. Uh, let's roll here. Ten. Okay, getting another. Or we need, we need a wheat. Who has a wheat? I could also do a 4 for one trade, but let's see. Let's see if this is possible first. Okay, it's not. It's not. Okay. Let's do this. Get the first, or second city on the board. First city was done by red in a very good spot. Four. We get nothing for four. Eleven. Nothing for eleven. Uh, do we try? Do we branch down here and try? That'd be a waste of resources. We'll, we'll wait a little bit. If we get road building card, then maybe. Then maybe we'll try. But I have a feeling as soon as we build one road here, red's just going to pop down their settlement. Because, yeah. Ooh, night cards played by red. They're hitting yellow. Okay, interesting play. Seven is... Ooh, they have to ditch half their cards. Red is dishing wood and sheep, so they should should still have leftover um, ore and um, wheat, I'd imagine. That's what they have left. We'll keep that in mind. Brown is dishing all of their wood, hitting the five spot, stealing from red. We had to hit red uh, brown back. I guess our turn. Ooh, they just stayed up, going for the three for one. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, at this point, let's just uh, move that, hit them, okay, roll here, 11, brick for, or they get brick for 11, oh, I should have waited, I guess, but then I had no way of knowing, no way of knowing. <laughs> really don't think they'll make this trade, uh, yeah, no, they didn't, alright, now we know uh, Brown has a brick. If we roll a 7 next turn, we'll try taking it from them. If they haven't used it by that point, 11, we get, or they get another brick. Wow, two bricks. Just sitting on two bricks and probably aren't going to be able to do anything. Five, sheep and wheat. Ooh, look at all of that. Okay. We have eight cards. Six, we get nothing for six. Ugh. All right, what do people want for ore? Bot doesn't want to do anything for that. How about that that brick? What do you want? You should want something, right? Counter. Wow. Yeah. What a joke. Okay. Hmm. We can't really do much with what we have going on here. I'd say let's just do this trade just to lower the risk of seven and out because we don't have any way of getting brick. It might as well. Okay, five. Nice. Getting more wheat and sheep. So we have enough resources at this point to get that settlement up there on our next turn. Hopefully it pans out that way. Brick for wood. No way. Am I trading away this brick? Nope. Not going to happen. Hmm. Hey, how about I give you a wheat? 
Nope, you don't want to do it. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Ten. Okay, a wood. Nice. There we go. We don't even need to do the fourth one. Ooh. That's, yeah, you missed your chance, man. You missed your chance. Not going to trade anything with you at this point. Why are you doing that? Oh, you're afraid I'm going to take your three for one. Ten is ruled. Nice. Okay, so we'll have enough to get our settlement. And then we'll also have enough to build this city here. And we can't do anything else. Well, let's see. Someone wants to do that with me. And I could start um, making my way towards my next settlement. Yeah, they want three. We you could you could get out of here, Brown. That's not gonna happen. Okay. Double wood, double ore. Uh ready for the next uh, city, but we don't have I'm not gonna city up that settlement. No reason. Hmm. I really would like uh some sheep rolls here, because then I could just buy a bunch of devs. That would be my next play. Hmm. Yeah, I'm hoping for eight, eights and fives. Eights and fives. Oh, yellow is having connectivity issues as well. So we have to wait for them to sort that out. Hopefully it's not just going to be a 1v1 situation with us in um, brown. Sorry, I was checking my text right there. Okay, yeah. So, Brown, still a little bit concerned with them, but not... I, I did feel like we have the edge over them at this point just due to uh, where we have our cities and where we're going to be advancing to next. So, I'm not super concerned about not getting that three for one. Since we have a very powerful sheep port with good sheep numbers. Six, we get nothing for six. Red just bought a dev. Yeah, they're still not advancing down here. If we could find a road building and get that spot, that would be awesome. Oh, yeah, not going to happen. Okay, they they felt me just looking at that spot and like, yeah, you're not taking this. Nine. We get nothing for nine. Okay. Let's rule here. We get a four. Oh, we get nothing for four. What people want for a sheep? I just want to buy a dev. Red not letting it happen. Hmm. Yellow still having connectivity issues, so let's try this. Red is thinking about it. Who left? Oh, brown left. Brown left, and this guy, wow. Okay. That truly is a. Like a one v one situation. Let's see the bots. Okay, I guess we gotta we gotta do this now. Nope. Okay, still. All right. Yeah, we literally can't do anything, even though we have nine cards. I mean, we could city up, but why bother wasting a city up there? So it, yeah, one v one situation. Everyone quits. This guy probably saw the fact that I was likely going to win. They were not happy with their wheat intake by the looks of it. Constantly trying to get me to do uh, unfair wheat trades. And I think <laughs> after a couple orbits of this guy doing this, I might just win by default if they have to boot yellow out of the game. So, wow. It, this has been interesting. Again, not ideal. I was not looking for this type of victory today. But if that's the type of victory I get, that's the type of victory I get. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below, like, do you guys want this to just be a Catan channel or do you guys want to start seeing me play other games? Um, I'm very open to anything at this point. I just see this as like, you know, my gaming channel, like not just a Catan channel. However, if you guys only want Catan, then just let me know in the comment section. And um, if you see a comment that already says that, you know, just upvote it. Uh, if you guys would be open to other games as well like maybe if i make two katan videos a week and then one video about something else whether it be a vlog or um 
like I was saying, may, might try to get into cornhole. So I might buy a cornhole set and just do like practice in addition to going to some local tournaments. So that's something I'm up to doing as well. Or if you guys just want vlogs and just something different, let me know. I could do Catan on Tuesdays and Fridays like I have been. And then, or maybe I'll switch back to Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and then something different on the weekends. Let's see. What was I doing? 12. I think for 12. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, let's just buy. <laughs> let's just buy two devs here. Knight. Okay, so we'll take largest army. <laughs> Bring us up to seven. Uh, road here, settlement eight. Road here, settlement nine. City one of them up. And then that's how we're going to get the victory i guess this is yeah sorry guys i mean i feel bad wasting like recording sessions because i only play one game like every couple of days and then i just post it um sometimes the game are so unwatchable i decide not to but i think this match is kind of funny with the way this all panned out like how often do you guys get games like this where <laughs> this person left Pretty much after placing for whatever reason, they had a really good first placement. Uh, this person left after they realized, like, oh, we're not going to get first, so I might as well just quit the game entirely. And this person is just having a rough time connecting. No one's talking in chat. Uh, we're up to just 36 dice rolls and been playing for 20, 26 minutes. And what the heck is going on outside? Oh yeah, loud motorcycles going on. Uh, just trying to end this uh, game. Let's see how quickly we end this game. Okay, so they could just get kicked here. Okay, yeah. <laughs> there we go. All of your opponents have left the game. You are the winner. I, I feel like I've won. Wait, I got second? Hold on. It says, who was ahead of me? I went up... Uh, 11 elo points though so we're at uh 11 1108 1108 okay who who was ahead of me red was the bot from the very beginning huh wow would you look at that oh they might have a secret uh victory points i guess let's see one two four four five yeah secret victory point all right well yeah uh i apologize for this game i mean this is just what's going to happen sometimes uh if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like button let me know what you guys think about adding other types of videos onto this channel and i'll see you guys uh later